channel. If you're new, welcome. My channel is all about digging deep into the classical Pilates method and getting the most out of the exercises, whether you're a teacher or an enthusiast. If you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. Today, I have a tutorial, which is also kind of a workout, um, with the Pilates green bag device. This is a request from Melissa. Melissa, thank you so much for requesting this because this is such a wonderful, simple piece of apparatus that really often collects dust in the corner. But it's great, it's so versatile from the elderly, tiny little person that only does pre-Pilates in their workout to the elite athlete that you wanna challenge you know, their endurance. So it's really, you can pretend that you're Joseph Pilates with this exercise. The more people get better at it, you can make it harder and harder and more challenging. So this uh, beanbag device, uh, I actually got a few years ago from Pilates Nerd. If I find this online, I will link it below. But this is also an apparatus that's really simple to make your own. You really just need a length of rope, some piece of dowel that's not too long and not too short, and something to hold some weight in. And I'm actually, um, I don't have anything in this bag right now. Um, and I've been using uh, juggling balls, which uh, don't really weigh that much, but if you put, I put two in um, and it's plenty heavy. And I'm actually, for the purposes of this workout, I'm not actually gonna use anything. Um, and it's gonna be devastating, <laughs> even with no weight inside. So I'm just gonna put these guys down. And uh, so let's start at the beginning. So there are people that, you know, um, only need the very sort of basic elements of the beanbag device. And so, you know, the length of rope, this is, this is gonna make the exercise go on for a long time. But if you're just working with someone who's starting it, and maybe there's someone who's a little bit more delicate, you can really just use your dowel from the reformer or the mat. And they are going to be, so let's talk about the purpose of this exercise. So even though this is the exercise we're talking about, um, where you're gonna turn the dowel one direction, letting go and gripping the bar. And then at a certain point, you might go the other way. And what's really going on here and what we're really strengthening is the strength of the standing position while you don't hold on to anything and while you have some kind of task that you're doing that perhaps has a weight to it in front of you. And this exercise, you know, this is a skill that as we age, the ability to do things and stand in our lower body, our center, uh, and do tasks supporting ourselves, this is a very valuable skill that as we age goes away, and, um, and it's really wonderful to cultivate. So someone that is, let's say you have an elderly person that needs to work on being strong in their standing position, this is an exercise that maybe you could do after they're really, really good at the wall or something where they have a support. Um, this, I mean, they might not be able to do it for very long, you know, but just the fact that they're holding this pole away from their body and standing up and moving their arms, like this is gonna be so challenging for them. It's kind of, this pole's sort of heavy. <laughs> it's a little bit challenging for me. Okay, so this is just like, you know, the tip of the iceberg, let's say. So let's say they graduate from just the pole, and then, hmm, where should I put the pole? Okay, and so then you, you bring out, you know, the full-on apparatus, right? So now, as you go, I'm gonna face this direction, so you're standing in your center, you're lifted up and forward, and so now you're going to, I'm gonna turn it this way. So I kind of feel like, it's, it's a little bit easier to, to wind it toward yourself than to wind it away. So basically, the exercise now that they've got this bag hanging down is that they're going to lower it to the ground. They're going to continue, because this is the easier direction a little bit. You can really start with that. So then the bag is on the ground. 
I feel like I need to like make a time lapse video of this because this is a long exercise. So, and then we're just gonna keep going because eventually it's gonna wind it back up again, right? Yeah, and again, you're lifting your butt, your waistline to reach to the bar. You're trying not to do anything super extreme with your wrist, breaking it or popping it up. And you're standing down strongly in your back. Okay, so then let's say they make it through the bag going up and back, down and back up again. So maybe they do that for a while and then you introduce that after it goes down and up once, they go the other way and it goes down and up once. You kind of get the point, right? That's why I say this is a tutorial, but yet, if you do this tutorial, this is a workout. <laughs> you could do this at the end of your um, at mat workout, your reformer workout. It's a really good, um, it's, it's very good to, to work on the strength of standing that takes you out of the studio. Oh, my stomach is what is hurting right now. My waistline, my butt. This is not really an arm and shoulder exercise, but if you're someone that likes to use your upper body, this is a good way to uh, make this have to work and you know this will kind of fatigue because the exercise goes on for so long. Okay, so I'm sweating, there's nothing in the bag, and so let's say they get good at that. <laughs> so then, you know, um, whoops. <laughs> okay, uh, see I need to work on the strength of standing <laughs> and not running into the laundry chair. Okay, so you notice that as I'm just standing, the bag goes down and so it's not really weighting anymore. Uh, it's not weighted anymore because it rests on the ground while I still have a lot to unwind and pick back up again. So you can stand on either the Cadillac or the wonder chair and then it's going to be a lot further down, let's say. Okay, so now I'm bringing it toward me. I'm standing nice and tall. You know, and I suppose this is where you can get a little bit creative with your person that you're trying to challenge, right? You could put weight in the bag. So now it has to go all the way down to the floor and I don't get a break. Yeah, really, I don't get a break. Hmm. Okay, and then I pick it back up again. And then maybe, you know, they get really good and you can have them be on the balls of their feet. Oh yeah, that's a lot harder. <laughs> so anything that's, I mean not anything, but whoops, uh, things that are going to challenge the body standing while doing this are all possibilities. So then, I'm just going to make sure I don't take a header off the wonder chair. Okay, so then, remember our arm frog? If you hate that exercise, you're going to love this one. So now, you can rise up to the balls of your feet, and as the bag goes down, you can squat and come back up. And squat and come back up. And then squat and come back up. Okay, you see how this is going. You can also do it on one leg, which I have seen, but I have not tried. So let's see, I'm assuming you're gonna, you're gonna be on releve, I mean on the balls of your feet on one leg, but I don't know if I'm ready for that. So I'm gonna see if I can just squat a little bit on one leg. I'm gonna take that. Again, I'm making sure I'm still on the chair. Now I'm gonna go the other way. Wow. Okay. So, Melissa, are you glad that you asked this question? <laughs> so you can see that's already a far cry from the little old lady that was just standing there with the dowel from the reformer and the mat. And I don't even have weight in the bag. So, <laughs> so see what you think. Um, Start with a dowel, graduate to a bean bag, add some weight and see what you think. I should do that too. 
and thank you so much for watching. If you have questions or other things, Melissa, that I didn't cover in this video, do let's talk in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see more videos like this, do, leave, uh, do become a subscriber and use the bell icon so you'll be notified every time that I publish a new video. And I'm going to try to make videos every Tuesday and every Friday. Friday will be a workout, Tuesday will be a chatting rant or a tutorial. Thank you so, so, so much for watching, and I will see you again.